One, two, three, four. Hey guys, this is Brian with the Kentucky Woodsman, and I've decided to come back here down this little creek again. I did it on one of my previous videos, and I'm uh, going to run a couple of traps and see if I can catch some uh, crawdads. And I've uh, got a little bit of old catfish fillets that uh, I'm going to stick in here, and hopefully I'll catch some catfish. Not catfish, crawdads. Anyway, I've got a couple of uh, old catfish fillets, and uh, hopefully I'll go ahead and catch some uh, crawdads. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and boil them up and give them a try. So stick with me here on the Kentucky Woodsman. Hey, looks like we got uh, looks like we've got about five of them. Not real big or anything, but uh, at least we were successful here. So I'll have to uh, run back to my truck and get my uh, bucket to put them in. But uh, we'll just pull them up right here now, and then uh, I'll get them out and we'll throw them back in again. All right, let's go on to the next one. This one was a little bit deeper here. Ah. <laughs> oh man. Lucky here. We got us uh looks like a crawdad and a frog. And he appears to still be alive. That's a good eating sized uh frog, so uh, it looks like uh two crawdads. Three. So I got three, I've got five in the other, so that's a total of eight there, and uh one frog that looks like he's hanging on. So, uh, anyway, it's a nice addition to bullfrog. So, I like that. So, okay, so I'll go ahead and put these in my bucket. And uh, I already got plenty of bait, so I'll just throw this back in again. We'll see if we can get a few more crawdads, too. Okay, so on the crawdads I caught, I caught eight of them. And uh, now what I'm going to do. <clears throat> got them down here in my sink and I'm gonna purge them and this is what uh, they showed uh, my friend showed uh, on his you just dump a bunch of salt in here and uh, before you know it the water is just gonna be real muddy and terrible and they're gonna get rid of all that mud and yuck from inside of them there we go so we'll let them take care of all that good stuff and purge them real good and then I'm going to cook them up and we'll give them a try. Everything set up here in the kitchen and water boiling. Uh, going to go ahead and cook them up and see what uh, what we think of them. So I thought this time what I'll do is I'll try some Zatarans on there and this is enough to do about four pounds of crawdads 
but uh, you know I've only got eight so we're only going to take a little bit of this and uh, put it in here to boil them up also uh, it says to use some lemon and I don't happen to have lem lemon so I'm just going to go ahead and use some of this uh, uh, condensed lemon here and uh, and then it says to make them peel better that uh, you put two capfuls of uh, vinegar in there too so again I don't know I've never done Cajun crawdads or anything but uh, I figure heck if it'll make the meat come out of the shell easier why not uh, and then I've got the old favorite Old Bay too so I think I'll throw a little bit of that in there so uh, stick with me I'll go ahead and grab the crawdads and we'll put them in here and uh, we'll boil them up for a little bit and uh, see how they taste so we're going to put them in here and uh, put in a little bit of the seasoning and then it says that uh, that we need to cook it up for uh, approximately two minutes with the crawdads so we'll go ahead and cut a little bit of this and put it in here I think this going to taste pretty good only put about a quarter of that in there we'll save the rest for if we like them pretty well then we'll use that again a little bit of Old Bay and some lemon Well, that smells good. It's delicious. And since this is such a small amount, I'm only going to put a little vinegar in here. I don't care to have it too tart. There we go. Okay, we'll stir that around a little bit. And then I'm going to set the timer. We'll set it for a couple minutes. It's already been about 40 seconds or so but uh, I'll cook this up and we'll get right back to you when we're cracking them and trying them. Okay so I uh, boiled it for two minutes and then it said to set it aside for 20 minutes so done that. It smells really good. Never hit them before but uh, here goes. So anyway uh, they turned a real nice reddish orange color uh, which you know crab does that too so uh, let's see if we can get going here they smell just a bit fishy get some of that out of there I think I'm destroying them. I wish I had somebody here who uh, has done this before because they're kind of caught in their shell. Hold on. Okay. So it looks pretty good. I mean, it's white meat, kind of like shrimp. Tastes real good. Tastes very good. It's uh, tastes real mild. Got a good uh, flavor, but it's not hot like the Cajun flavor. And uh, tastes pretty delicious, actually. I think I could go for this. But uh, there's the next one. So, thank you for joining me on the Kentucky Woodsman. I'm going to go ahead and give my wife and my daughter one of these and let them have a try. And, uh, you know, getting down there to the creek and trying these crawdads was a pretty good idea. I think I'll do it again. So, uh, y'all have a great time and get out and do some hunting and fishing yourselves. God bless you.